Bien, hola Olivia. Hello, hello, hello. Good evening. Can you hear me, Olivia? Oh, you're connecting the audio. Hi, Lydia. Hello, Armando and Lydia. Good evening. Hi, good evening. All right, glad to see you here. Hello, teacher. Only two more days left, guys. Well, actually, only one day today is second to last. All right, guys, how are you feeling? How are you dealing with, with the rain, by the way? Douglas, nice to see you again, man. Nice to see you too. Uh, remember to turn on the cameras, guys. Um, so, how are you, Lydia? How's everything going? Oh, fine. Fine. All right. All right, that's great. That's great. All right. Uh, what about you, Douglas? Hey, why have you why have you missed classes, man? Hey, because I've been kind of sick and I wasn't able to speak. Okay, all right, give me give me one second, guys. Hold on.
How's it going, guys? Can you help me with the section four, four point two, knowledge check? Have you finished that that section? I can't hear you, teacher. Oh, uh, okay. I'm sorry, guys. I was saying that. I'm sorry about that. I was attending the door. Um. Anyways, guys, so um, we have two days, guys, to finish uh, everything, okay? All right, so let's get started on that. Uh, Lydia, welcome. Welcome, Douglas, Idalia, Armando. Thank you for being here. And we have Ellie. All right, guys, so uh, now a question for you guys. Have we all finished the platform or have we all finished everything up until um up until you know where we left off before where we left off having okay I very good where did you where did you leave i mean where where where, where do you uh, yeah where did you leave man what was it last yeah, i have some problems i have some problems in section 4.2 knowledge check number okay. four and number six okay and have you checked on the videos no i haven't checked this video okay the answers are on the videos all right all right um all right I'll tell you that because that's why we we upload the videos guys so you can take a look at the answers right uh if you have if you have uh, issues with um actually you know what if it is the last session do you have any issues with the previous sections or just these sections? Just this section. Okay, all right, let's go through them, okay? Because that's, we did that, uh, we might have done that yesterday anyways. All right, guys, so which one? Which is the exercise? 4.2. All right, so 4.2, hold on. This is, intermediate, hold on. All right, so 4.2. All right, so this one right here? Yes, number four. All right, very good, man. All right, so I'll just show you the answers because these are in the on the videos. We did this yesterday, all right? And what happened, man? Why have you not been joining? Sorry, I, I, I didn't hear that. So it's a long story. Uh, <laughs> I have some first of all i had some personal problems and then i was kind of sick and i was not able to speak so i i couldn't join okay all right that's okay did you take a screenshot already no no all right very good yes i'm done you good okay very good all right uh does anybody else have any other problem guys with uh with the questions from these or another section. Now, all right, all good then, guys. Okay, so we're gonna do, guys. Uh, we're gonna couple up right now, and we're gonna finish the listening exercise, and then we're gonna move on to the grammar class. Okay. All right. So let's go. All right, Mandy, Dalia, let's, let's join in. All right, Mando, so, uh, so let's start. I don't know if you've done the listening exercise, but if, if you haven't, uh, let's just wait for Idalia, okay? Hold on, I'm gonna try to bring Idalia into this room, hold on. What teacher, sorry, I can't hear you. Okay, you so, oh, okay, all right, I didn't know it was raining down there, man. No, I'm just saying, uh, Idalia is supposed to be here. Uh, let me go back and try to bring her over here, okay? Hold on. Oh, Idalia. 
Nidalia, are you there? This is a small, small business owner. Yeah. Mm, Did we it. have to, to do points 4.5 or 4.7 because we yesterday did 4.5. Did you finish the? Did you all finish the listening exercise, guys? Yeah. Yeah. I didn't. All right. So yeah, not not everybody did. So that's pretty much what we're doing right now. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna get you in, in different couples. So if you have finished it, guys, okay, talk about something else right now while everybody else finishes the rest of the exercise. Okay. Oh, all right. So who said that? Okay, Douglas, you haven't finished it, right? Yeah, just the number two. Just number two. Okay. All right, very good. And Armando. All right, so uh, talk about something else for now, guys, in English, okay? And um, while well, Armando and do, let's finish the listening exercise, okay? Okay. All right, very good. All right, guys. Okay, so we got David Hiron and we got Sorry, guys, I was sending you all a message. All right, so Douglas, David, uh, hey, welcome, David. Nice to see you, right? And Armando, let's finish the listening exercise, okay? Hi, thanks. All right, very good. How are you, David? I'm super good. All right, man. Sorry for coming, yeah. lady. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay, man. All right, thank you for coming, though. All right. Thanks. So let's help Douglas and Armando finish the, the listening exercise from uh, section four, okay? Four point two. You are Idalia. If I yeah. Um, yeah, sorry. <laughs> I think that you was Ellie. No. But Ellie is here too. Yeah, that's what I confused. I think I yeah. think that you um you had some connection issues with the internet, right? Yeah, yeah, we have problems. Okay, all right. Um don't worry, Kate. So let's, uh, Idali, did you finish did, did you finish the listening exercise? No yet, teacher. Okay. I was telling them, I was telling them that um in uh, four point two, I think. Four point two, okay. All right. Yeah. All right, sounds good then. Uh so help let's help Idali guys finish the exercise, okay? Okay. Which Snow, a small business owner. All right, I got it. Okay. Uh, I finished. I have finished. Okay. Nice, nice. nice. Okay, let's let's um. Let's give everybody else more time because they have not finished, okay? All right, so tell me about, tell me about uh, what you remember um, of uh, relative clauses, Douglas. Relative clauses, when we use a uh, which? Very good, no. okay. Which is a relative pronoun, okay? Um, what is the difference between a defining and non-defining relative clauses? Mm. All right, very good. We're going to see that today, right? But all right, a defining relative clause right, adds more information about 
um, you know, what we're talking about, specifically about a certain group of things or, or an individual, right? An undefined one. An undefined one is a general. Um, for examples, we're gonna get into that grammar class after this, okay? Hold All your right. All right, well, very <laughs> good. Hearts. All right, very good, man. Very good. So, so, uh, so you were telling me that that you got sick and, and you know you were uh, you were not able to join because of that. Have you have you finished like everything else from the platform uh, before these uh, these exercises? I have a ninety-two percent, I think, ninety percent. Okay, right. They, they, guys, did you already get the email for? Um, email. Did you get? It? Did you already get the email for the next module? No. Yes. Yes, I got it. You got it. No. Not no. an email, but I received a message. Yeah, the uh, message on WhatsApp. Okay. What about you, David? Oh, okay. Yes, in WhatsApp right. group. What about you, Armando? Armando, are you there? Me, yes. I also received the message. Okay. All right. Sounds good then. Sounds good. Okay then. So, uh, so it, uh, the reason why I'm saying that guys is because the sooner we finish the platform guys, the sooner we're going to be able to, um, you know, to start the next module. Okay. All right. All so right. in your case guys, okay. Uh, I mean, we're planning to start uh, next week. However, you know, if we, if we get some place where uh, we might not be able to start that on that day, right? Um, but, uh, in order to do that, we need to have finished the platform first. Um, but you guys, I think that you're doing good. Okay. I, I mean, Douglas, I think that you already passed anyways, because you got 90 something, but have you done the final exam? Yes, I don't. Okay. That's the reason why. Okay. All right. But, uh, we're going to review the final exam. It's going to be reviewed tomorrow guys. Okay. Um, so, I mean, you can do it today or you can do it tomorrow if you want, but we're going to go through that. Okay. All right, okay. guys. Okay, so uh, keep practicing, guys, and I'll check on the other guys, right? I don't know if you're speaking or not. Mm -hmm. Hi, good evening. Hello, guys. I came a little bit too late. All right, it's okay, man. It's okay, right? Thank you for joining. All right. So, Lydia, did you uh, did you finish the the exercise that the exercises that you were missing? Lydia. Uh, let me a moment. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you now. Yes. Okay, I have listening all, but I have I need to finish some activities in the of the final exam. Okay, but we haven't done the final exam yet. Don't worry about that. Okay. I could help because I already did it. But <laughs> all right, now the final. All right, guys. So remember, guys, that the final. Uh, welcome, Fatima. Nice to see you again. All right. So remember, guys, that the final exam is to be taken alone, right? So um, so you need to do that at home. However, guys, we are going to review, we're going to review the final exam tomorrow, okay? So I would suggest you to do the final exam today if you can, all right? Um, and we're, so we're going to review the final exam tomorrow. Okay? For now, guys, okay, uh, let's go into the listening, um, the listening answers, okay? All right, very good, guys. So uh, let's go. Lydia, what is the answer for number one? Samira, Samira, or Samira. Architect. All right, an architect, okay. Okay, an archi oh, architect. Like this. Okay, very good. Right, Alex, uh, let's see. Uh, we get active. Let's go. Number two. A small business owner. Okay, a small business or owner. Very good. Small business owner. All right. Without uh, A. Start with without a, a. a. Okay, all right, very good. Uh, Naomi, um, number three now. Uh, number three, Naomi. Uh, <laughs> David, number three. It is. Let me check. I don't remember. Can we finish? <laughs> uh, interior to scene. Designer. Interior, okay, interior, interior designer. designer. <laughs> all right, an interior designer. designer. Okay, very good, all right? So, S A N, okay? Uh, number one, stay on top. Uh, stay on top of trends. What is that? S, okay, very good. Uh, number two. 
Hey. Hey, very good. Number three. Yes. Okay, very good. Number four. N. N. Okay, number five. A. 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 Okay, number six. N. 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 Okay, there you go, guys. Okay, so let's submit the answers. All right, and let's wait like 40 years. All right, very good, guys. Just a century. All right, very good. Very good, guys. All right, guys. So, uh, so we saw the vocabulary from yesterday, guys. Let's jump into the um, grammar topic today, okay? So we're gonna talk about uh, non-defining relative classes, okay? All right, guys. So, all right. So first of all, guys, okay. Remember, all right. We have, okay. We have something that are, that is called uh, relative. How do we call these guys? Relative what? Relative clauses. Relative. Pronouns. Relative pronouns, guys. Okay. Pronoun. Very good. Okay. So these are the relative pronouns. Okay. Now the relative pronoun that we're gonna focus on today, okay, it's the relative pronoun that we use for. We use for what? Things. Think. That we use for things, guys. Okay. All right. Now remember, guys, that these work as connectors, right? All right. Okay. okay so these are like bridges. Okay. All right. Very good. So uh, let's take a look at the first example, okay? All right, uh, Lydia, help me read this line over here. All right, let's go. Okay. You can see non-defining relative clauses with which to make a comment about an entire sentence. Very good, guys. All right, very good. Thank you, Lydia. An entire sentence, okay? So the usage, guys, okay? The usage is, okay, to make comments, all right, about an entire sentence, okay? Very good. All right. So this scenario, guys, okay, in this scenario, what is the relative clause that we have? What do you think is the relative clause that we have here? Hey, which means there are usually a lot of very good, lot, which means there's usually a lot of? A lot of cat fur on my clothes. Fur, okay, a lot of cat fur on my clothes, all right? Very good, guys. Okay, so this whole thing right here, all right? Okay, this whole thing right here, that is the non-defining relative clause, okay? Now, what is this doing here, guys? So what is, what is this doing here, guys, in regards of the information? It's is like this, explaining. Is this adding more information to the fact that I have three cats? Yep. Check this out, guys. If I, if I say I have, I have three cats. Okay, so I have three cats. Does this, does this uh, sentence make sense on its own or not? Yep. Yes, guys, okay, it makes sense on its own, right? Yeah. All right, so it's a complete sentence, right? So yeah. what, we're, what we're doing, guys, what we're doing with the... Uh, You're you know, adding more information. Non-defining relative clauses that we're adding more information, okay? All right, very good. Uh, second example, my roommate is a slob, okay? Now, is this sentence complete, guys? Yeah, of course. Yes. Okay, it is complete, okay? Very good, all right? Now, what is, which is why I want to get my own apartment. What is that doing? Explaining why he wants a new apartment. Very good job, okay? Good job, good job, Vidalia. All right, it's explaining why, you know, your roommate wants a new apartment. Now, it's notice, adding, uh, tell me. It's adding extra information. It's adding extra information, very good, okay? It's adding extra information, all right, um, to what we're talking about. Now, do you remember, guys, the examples that, you know, that we were, like, the relative, um, the relative clauses examples that we were talking in the previous uh, exercises, in the previous topic? The, what about defining relative clauses, guys? Do you remember that? Yes. Do you remember the reduced, uh, the reduced uh, relative clauses? 
Start it up. Kind of. Yeah. All right, now guys, all right, check this out. Okay, this is actually this is actually very interesting. Okay, what is the difference? Okay, okay, we found we um between defining versus non-defining. All right, let's take a look. Oh, I'm sorry, you're seeing the presentation, right? Sorry. All right, guys, so let's take a look, guys. All right, let me give you some examples regarding that. So do you remember this, guys? Okay, do you remember the examples of um, this, like, a person, do you remember a person who is able to play the guitar, right? I say a person who is able to play the guitar, um, what guys, tell me something. He's able to play the piano too. Okay, okay. So a person who is able to play the guitar is also able to play the piano. Okay, mm -hmm. so can I reduce this? Yeah. Yes, True. right? Very good. How can I reduce this? How would the sentence be, guys, if, if, if you reduce it? Able. Remove who is? A person. Okay, let's see. Let me, uh, a person. A person able to able. play the guitar. To play the guitar, uh huh is also able to play the piano to play the piano very good job guys okay good job now guys this this is a defining all right a defining relative clause why because you are able to reduce it if you cannot reduce it guys which is the case of which right it is non-defining all right that's actually a big difference okay all right, Miguel, what is the difference? You can't reduce an undefining one. Okay. So, okay, very good. So, if I say, uh, if I say Miguel, Miguel plays the guitar, which is why he's, he's what? Give me something, guys. Which is why he's... I tried, but I failed. Really, okay. Which is why he's really smart. Okay, let's let's say this. Let's let's pretend. <laughs> Just kidding. Right? All right, which is why he's really smart, right? All right, now can I reduce this, guys? No. No. No, guys. Okay, so notice, guys, that when I'm using the relative pronoun which, guys, all right, I'm not able to reduce that, right? Miguel plays the guitar. Is why he's really smart. I cannot get rid of this. Okay. Okay, I cannot say Miguel plays the guitar uh why he's really smart okay i cannot i cannot get rid of that right so with non-defining relative clauses guys we're actually going to be using um you know which okay all right and notice guys that the verb is different right what what makes this um what makes this different guys is that it cannot be reduced okay is that clear guys is that clear from the previous all right does does that make sense now all right why yeah. is not Defining? Yeah. No. The, the non-defining is the uh, Miguel plays the guitar. Exactly. All right. This is not defining, right? This one right here is non. Okay. Defining. Non -defining. Because okay. we can't. Okay. You cannot reduce it. Okay. Uh -huh. And uh, so this one right here, right? This one right here. Okay. Now this one right here, right? Okay, this one right here, it is the defining clause. Now, notice something else, guys. Okay. All right. Another difference, guys, is if I say a person able to play the guitar, well, how do you read A person who is able to play, right? If I say a person, guys, okay, just a person, is this full information, guys? Is this telling me what? All right, or or do I need to add more information to that? You need to add more information. Okay, so now notice something, guys. This, okay, this information after the relative pronoun, guys. Okay, after who, guys? The information is not optional. What is it? Not optional. 
Number it's not option. optional, guys, okay? You need to add it because otherwise the sentence does not make sense. <laughs> All right? How about using whose? Okay. All right, give me an example. I mean, you can both of them can be, you know, defining, undefining. Uh, they can be, um, what is this other thing called? The uh, dependent or independent, too, you know? All right. right. Uh, but oh. right now, Right now, we're focusing on which because it's the only one that we're using for the defining. But if you use who's, okay? Let's say um, yeah. Douglas. For example, huh? my, my neighbor whose dog is barking. My neighbor, okay? I'm not really sure. My neighbor? No, it's whose like dog the, is barking. Okay. Whose dog, right? Whose dog is barking. Is my friend. Is my friend. Okay. So what is your question regarding this? Uh, is defining or non-defining using whose? Okay. Very good. So what do you think, guys? Is this optional or not optional? It is optional. Oh. It is optional, okay? If you say, if you say my neighbor whose dog is barking is my friend, right? Uh, this extra information here, whose dog is barking, and yes. actually, and actually, you know what? This is kind of like this doesn't make sense in a bit because you're talking about your neighbor and then you're changing to the to the dog, right? Uh, but let's 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 completely hold on. So if you say my neighbor. Well, actually, no. It's it's okay. Whose dog is barking? Because who's the who's the term is you know um, a possession, right? Whose dog is barking is my friend, All right? And my neighbor is misspelled here. My neighbor. All right. All right. If that's misspelled, guys. Forgive my life. Okay. All right, guys. So remember. So what happens, guys, if the information is optional? Can I say my neighbor is my friend? Yeah. Yes, yeah. guys, okay, this makes sense on its own, okay? So what do you think, defining or non-defining? Defining. It is defining. All right, it is defining, guys, okay? All right, very good job. Okay, good job, Douglas. All right, so now uh, let's take another example with which, guys, okay? Actually, let's go back to the examples that we had before, and then we're going to take a look at this, okay? All right, guys, so uh, the first example, um, -da 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 -da. Ellie, all right, let's go with the first example. I have three cats. Mm -hmm. Okay, give me, uh, help me read the first example. Oh, uh, example. Mm -hmm. I am, huh? um, no, that's another one. No, okay, now just just read. You, you just uh, you just need to read. Oh, okay. But you can hear me? Yeah, I can hear you, yes. Okay. Which means there is usually a lot of cat fur on my clock. This is the kind of information. Okay, all right. All right, let's, uh, okay, all right. Uh, let's see. Dali, help me read the first example. The first one? Yes. Okay, I have three cuts. I have three cuts, which means there's usually a lot of cut fur on my clothes. Okay, very good. Which means there is usually a lot of cut fur on my clothes, okay? All right, so what is, what is uh, the non-defining relative clause here doing, guys? What is, what is the, the relative clause doing here? Which means there's usually a lot of cut fur on okay. my clothes. Okay, but it's is this adding extra information? It's adding extra, right? So it is optional. It is adding extra information about this. Okay, very good. Yeah. Where Where is the relative pronoun? Which? I have three. Uh, no, okay. which which which. Very good job. Okay, which means okay. Very good. Very good. All right. All right. Uh, second example, uh, Armando. Okay, I only read it. Yeah, just read it. Okay, my roommate is a 
love, which is why I want to get my own apartment. Okay. All right, very good, guys. So, is this adding more information to the main clause? Yes or not? Yes. Yes, it is. Yes, it is, right? Okay. Because that makes sense on, makes sense on its own. All right. So, remember, guys, a, um, a relative clause, guys, okay, is composed by a relative pronoun plus a verb. Okay. How is how is a, a relative clause composed? What is a relative clause composed by, guys? A pronoun, and a, a verb. pronoun, a verb, and you know, you know, optional, right? You have to, you can you can use something optional as well, right? Very good. All right, guys. So uh, let's take a look at more examples. All right. So let's take a look at this. Uh, Douglas, I'm gonna read. He gave me the letter which was in a blue envelope, no defining clause. There was only one letter. It happened to be blue. You must use which. Okay, very good, okay. Let's stop right here, okay. Good job, thank you, Douglas. Good job, Douglas. All right, so he gave me a letter which was in, which was in a blue envelope. Repeat, everybody, which was in a blue, blue envelope? Which, which was, was in, in a blue, blue envelope. envelope. Okay, envelope, okay? That's envelope. how you pronounce envelope. Envelope. Right. Now, he gave me the letter. Is this a, a full sentence, guys? Yep. Yeah. Yes, right? What is this? Uh, where, where, is the, where is the relative pronoun here? Which? Which, Which okay, right? So this is the relative pronoun, okay? All right, where is the verb that follows the relative pronoun? Was. Was, Was okay, right? This is the verb. Okay, now can it be can it be reduced? Yes or not? Yeah. Yes or not, guys? Yes. Yeah. Can it be reduced? Yes. Yes, it can. Oh my God, are you sure? No, you can't. You cannot reduce it, guys. Okay. Uh -huh. What I mean by reduce, guys, if you have missed class, you might. Okay, that's my. You you might not understand this part. Okay. But this is what we've been seeing this week, this week, okay? We were reducing clauses. So if I get rid of which and was, can I say he gave me the letter in a blue, uh, which was in a blue envelope? All right, so if I say this, guys, okay? All right. Actually, guys, if you say, if you give, now, there is a reason why, why this cannot be reduced, guys, okay? It can, but it cannot in this case, okay? If it is, the reason why is because we're using a comma, all right? He gave me the letter, all right, in a blue envelope. Okay. Yes, it sounds like it can be reduced, guys, but because or we're using which and we're using a comma, it is not possible to reduce it, okay? All right. Very good, guys. So, so every time that when you use a comma, it can't be reduced. It, it cannot because it's not the same meaning, right? Because uh, it tells you that it's adding extra information, All right? Very good. So uh, that is a non-defining clause. Okay, now, but what about the second example, uh, Miguel? Gotcha. Um, he gave me the letter which was, which or that was in a blue envelope. Okay, he gave me the letter which or was in a blue envelope, okay? Now, notice something, guys. What do you notice here? There is no coma. There is no coma. Wow, right? So now. Yeah, you can it, this because you have that. All right, guys. So now, can we re, can we reduce this? Can we reduce it? Yes. Um, that was, yes. Can, can I erase this? And can I say he gave me the letter in a blue envelope? Yes, guys. Woo. Okay. So defining or non-defining? Defining. Defining, guys. Defining. Good job. Okay, because, guys. Okay, so if you're not using the comma, guys, okay, all right, you're not adding extra information. This, guys, was in a blue envelope. The whole sentence, guys, is one sentence, okay? All right, you need, you actually need this information, okay? All right? 
because a without the use of a comma, guys, it doesn't make sense, okay? All right, got it? Uh, Lydia, did you get that? Armando, Ellie? Yes. All right, yes. so this is very tricky, guys, okay? Because just by this, guys, okay, it transforms the clause into a, uh, you know, defining clause, right? So here, so basically, guys, you cannot say this, okay? He gave me the letter. Was in a blue envelope. All right, check this out, guys. If I say this, guys, does this, uh, I mean, uh, like this, I'm sorry, right? In a blue envelope. All right, now does this make sense, guys? Is this, is this sentence, guys, making sense on its own? Not really. All right. No, so, okay, it's by that, it, okay, by 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 just that, guys. Okay. All right, it's it's not complete, right? All right, so it doesn't make sense on its own. All right, well, but what if I say this? He gave me the letter in a blue envelope. All right. It does. Because Does it make sense? a huge difference in everything. Okay, guys. Okay. So we're talking about just one single sentence this time, right? So we could reduce it. So remember, if it can be reduced, what is it? If it can be reduced, what, what do we call that? Defining or non-defining? Non-defined. When you can reduce... Is defining. defining. Okay, if it is, if, if you can reduce it, it is defining, okay? Very good, all right? All right, now, if you cannot reduce it, what is it? Um, defining. It is not defining. Okay, if it can't be reduced, all right, it is a non-defining, okay? But this sentence is tricky. Yes, yes, of course, because man. But because if, if we are talking, we can't see the coma. Okay, of course you can, man. What do you mean? Even in there Spanish, is only in the space, in a, in when the, you're in speaking, a, the pause you, in the intonation. In the pause. Yeah, yes, dude. When you're speaking, you wouldn't say, "All right, you don't read this the same way, man." He gave me the letter in a in a, in a blue envelope. See, it's not the same as he gave me the letter in a blue envelope. You make a pause, man. All right, that's what what commas are for. All right. All right, so yes, guys, it makes a huge difference, right? All right, um, like uh, for example, for example, uh, for example, if you say this, dude, all right? So Douglas, what if you say, don't shoot animals versus don't shoot animals, like this, don't shoot animals. All right, is it, is it the same, Douglas? No, it's not the same. All right, so so see, it makes a difference. What is the difference? The difference, the first one, uh, it means that you don't have to shoot two so, animals. Okay, right. Yeah. Okay, this is like not 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 shooting, not killing, right? Not killing animals. Not okay, killing or animals. A, killing animals. Let's say killing animals is prohibited. It's prohibited. Okay, it's and the prohibited. second one, and the second one, it means that. Animals are prohibited to shoot. Okay, no. right. Now in you the second shoot. one, there's animals near. In no, in the second example, you are being called an animal. Okay, so it's telling that you are an animal. Okay, you're being called an oh, animal. Yes, it's. But in this case, it's okay. it's a group of people. And it's exactly it's right. Animal. All right. Uh, yeah, it's a group of people, right? I mean, you, you uh -huh. as a, you as a, as a group, right? Uh -huh. So you're being called animals, right? <laughs> and you don't have to shoot. asking to, okay, uh -huh. and it's asking you not to shoot, okay? So guys, it makes a, f a big difference, right? So even when you're speaking, sure? right? Or if there's what? a comma after the don't, it's done. It shoot, <laughs> exactly. What? What about if I said my sister who had two children live in El Salvador? Uh, how it sounds, defining or not defining? I see. I, I you answered that. We just explained. my sister, <laughs> my sister who lives, who, who, lives, lives uh, who had who had who has two who has two children live in El Salvador. Two children, guys, or children? 
children. 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 No children, all right? Children is blue, right? All right, my sister has two children, lives in El Salvador, okay? Now, guys, it depends, okay? Do we need a coma here or, or no coma? Yeah, you only um, can notify two. My sister, right? Coma. Uh huh. Who has two children, all right? Coma lives in El Salvador. Can I, very good, guys. Can I say, my sister, two children, lives in El Salvador? But, by the way, um, has a uh, sense how I call it and say, because um, if I have more than one sister, it okay. make, doesn't make it sense. Okay. But my sisters I who have, have, okay. Or it doesn't make sense. I mean, it doesn't matter. All right. Now, can we can it can it be reduced? The question is, can it be reduced or not, guys? Yes. In this case, no. Okay. Who said yes and why? Mm. Maybe because it's extra information. Who we'll have two children? Yeah, but but what, how you can say that I'm adding extra information if you don't know about Hold my on, family? guys. The only question that you need to if, if you, the question is if it is defining or non-defining is. If you can reduce it or not, but, okay? But, that, but hold on, guys. Be... The only question is, listen. The only question is, can you reduce it or not? If now, there were commas, you can. But since there are commas, you can't. Okay, even with commas now, okay. Tell me, where can you reduce it? My sister. Can you say, my sister's two children? Can you say this? My sister, no. two children? No, I think. <laughs> No, it's no, defining right. with my sister. You can't remove who has. All right, exactly, with. guys. Okay, yeah. so my sister, or my sister, or my sister, whatever, it doesn't matter. My sister, who has two children, I right, lives in El Salvador. Okay, guys, there is no way to reduce this. Okay. You cannot say, let's try it, guys, let's try it. My sister, two children, <laughs> lives in El Salvador, okay? Yeah. All right, let's, get, let's remove the commas, right? My sister, two children, lives no. in no. El Salvador, all right? So, guys, it is not possible to reduce that, okay? All right, with or without commas, you cannot reduce it. So therefore, guys, if you cannot reduce it, it is non-defining. 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 Okay. Very good, guys. All right. Very, very good. Okay. Also, guys, what is a relative clause composed of? I, I just, I just explained that it, like minutes ago. All right. Do you remember what are what are the the two parts, guys? The two main parts. All right. That the two parts that you need to have the pronoun your, and a pronoun verb. And verb. The relative pronoun and the verb, okay? So we have a relative pronoun here. Okay, we have mm -hmm. a verb here, so okay, that is, you know, that is a relative clause. However, guys, we cannot reduce it, so that is non-defining. All right. Let's take a look at another example. Uh let's see, Lydia, help me read, Lydia. Hey, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Okay. Chris did really in his exam, which is quite a surprise. Only that? Yes, thank you very much. Good job. Mm -hmm. Woo, Lydia. High five to you. Fist bump. All right. So, Armando. All right. All right. Let's yes. see, Armando. Defining or non defining? The first one is non defining. Why? Because you can only say. Chris did really well in his exams, and that the end. Very but good. But if okay. you add extra information, that is, which is a quite surprise. All right. What is the number one question that you have to ask yourself, guys, in order to find out if a clause is defining or not defining? Does it have the comma? No, no, guys. The number one question. We just practice that. <laughs> That is the is extra information. Can you reduce it or can you not reduce it, guys? That is the question. What is the question? Can you can reduce, you reduce it or, or not? not? Okay, so guys, can I reduce this sentence? Can I can I reduce this clause, guys? Can I say 
let's get rid of this. Can I say Chris did really well in his, in his exams? Quite a surprise. Can I say that? Yes. 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 No, guys, you cannot say that. That doesn't make yeah. sense. Check this out. Right. right. With or without comma, it doesn't make sense, okay? Chris did really well in his exams. If you have any doubts, guys, you only have to ask yourself, can I reduce it or not? All right. What is the question that you have to ask yourselves, guys? Can, re can we reduce it or not? Can I reduce the clause or not? What is the question, Douglas? Can I reduce the class or not? Very good job. What is the question, Lydia? I can't hear you well because my internet is very lazy, so the okay. audio is very bad. All right, very good. What is the question, Armando? That if we can reduce the sentences. Okay, if we can reduce the sentences or not, okay? Good job, all right. Ellie, what is the question that you have? we have to ask yourselves? If we can reduce the, the word. Okay, very good. If we can reduce it or not, right? Good job. Now, in this case, Douglas, can I re does this make sense? Chris did really well in his exam. Is quite a surprise. Yeah, it doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make sense, guys. You can say Chris, real, really, Chris did really well in his exam, which is, right? which is quite a surprise to see. You cannot reduce it, guys, okay? The only way to make sense is with a relative, using a relative pronoun, okay? A uh, sort of uh, surprise, okay? Very good. All right, so defining or non-defining? Non-defining. What is it, guys? Non-defining. Non non-defining, very good. <laughs> All right, uh, so we got that one covered. Number two, uh, who wants to read, guys, and try it, okay? Who, who? who is very uh, brave. <laughs> I didn't know what else to say. All right, so tell me guys, so who, like, who would like to try guys? Who would like to, 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 to try to identify if this is defining or not defining? Five, four, three, two, Miguel, let's go, Miguel. My friends were, were are hiding in my apartment. All, not we, all, oh. all. Oh, my we're friends all, were all, all okay. We're all hiding in my apartment, which isn't what I expected. Which isn't what I expected. Defining or non defining? Non defining because it can't be reduced. Okay, my okay, very good, guys. So, what is the question that you have to ask ourselves, guys? That you have to ask yourselves in order to find we out if it is defining or not? We can reduce Can we or reduce not? it or not? Very good, okay. So, that is the question. So can I say, my friends were uh, all hiding in my apartment uh, what I'd expected. Can I say this? What I'd expected. Can I say this, guys? Does this make sense? No. No, right? No. Very good. So what is it? Not defining or not defining, Douglas? Not defining. No. Not defining, Fine. sir. All right, uh, uh, Lydia, help me read the last, the last one and let's try to identify. If I what? Help me read the last one and let's try to uh, identify it. She's starting to become a doctor, which is difficult. Okay, now defining or non-defining, Lydia? <clears throat> defining? Okay. Uh, why is it defining? Because uh, which is difficult is an extra information. I think because you you don't need to say that. <laughs> guys, if I, think, guys, I think just, just, just what, I is, I what is the one question that you have to ask yourselves, guys, in order to find can out? Can you reduce or not? Oh, okay. Right. okay. Can you reduce no. or not? Can you? No, yeah, we can. You can, okay. I just reduced it, guys. I'm saying she's starting to become a doctor is difficult. Does this make sense? No, guys, okay. No. So defining or non-defining? Non-defining. Non-defining, non guys. Okay, all of them are non-defining. Okay, 
All right, guys. So from one to uh, be, be honest, guys. Okay. Is this clear, guys? Was this clear? Maybe sometimes we can we want to reduce all as <laughs> almost all the sentence, and we get confused easily about this. Okay. Um, and that yes. Okay. I got confused with the last example. Okay, let's let's bring it up again. What is your confusion? Because I think we can we can remove, which is difficult because there is extra information. Can I say she's starting to become a doctor difficult? No, she's starting to become a doctor. Only that? Okay, no, 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 no. But what you need to reduce is this. When I'm talking, when I talk, it's just that you were not in the, the previous class. That's that's why you're asking that question. This is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm when I when I say guys, if you're able to reduce it, I mean, how do we call this, Douglas? The pronoun. The relative pronoun, right? The pronoun. Can we erase the relative pronoun and the verb that follows after it, and would it still make sense? Yes or not, no, Douglas? No, no, right? We can. So I'm not talking about erasing this. You do not erase anything else. The only thing that you erase is the relative pronoun and the verb that follows right. after. Got it? Yeah, I got it. Right. So if you erase this and it makes sense, then it is a defining relative clause. If you erase this and doesn't make sense, it is a non-defining relative clause. Got it? Yeah, yeah, I got it now. All right, very good. Uh, is that clear for you, Miguel? Yeah. All right, is that clear for you, David? Yeah. All right, Lydia, what do you think? Is that, is that clear for you, Lydia? She can't yeah, because it's difficult to hear you, so oh, I'm confusing okay. something. Okay, all right. Ellie, is that is that clear for you, Ellie? Yeah. Okay, Armando, what do you think, Armando? What? Is that is that clear for you? Yes, it's clear the non-defining and the defining. Very good, guys. Good job, all right? All right, guys. Uh, watch, guys, watch the class again or, or, or go to the platform and do the exercises and watch the video over and over again because these are advanced topics, guys, okay? I mean... Nobody thinks about that when you're talking, guys. Nobody thinks about the grammar, okay, uh, of it. However, if you're gonna do a test, you know, you do, you do need to know that, right? So, just be aware of that. All right, guys. Hope that you like the class. I have another class right now. See you tomorrow, guys. Tomorrow we're gonna see the final exam, okay? So please join okay. in early, right? Right. See you guys. Bye. Enjoy your Have evening, right? Thank you, guys.